Hi, in this video I analyze SEO Spyglass. Uh, first it asks you for a URL to check. You should insert in here the URL of the website you want to set. I will enable some expert options. How does it want to check? So um, I will add my Google Analytics account. Now I have added my Google Analytics account. It will try to load the corresponding uh, URL for uh, the um, uh, for the data to be checked. Right now it's looking through my Google Analytics account and he, uh, it uh, goes through all of the domains which I have in there. There, are, there is more than one. And uh, he will show me at the end the ones which I will need to use with the software. It's taking a while. Uh, after I log in, uh, Google Analytics asked me if I want to give access to the software. I said yes, and now uh, it needs to connect to the website. It has already selected my correct Analytics account. Okay. I need to log in. I will pause again the video. Now it is ready. Okay. I think uh, captures will be more often from now on because it's searching Google very quickly and Google uh, has some settings to prevent uh, loading a lot of uh, information very quickly. So if you open a lot of tabs very quickly, Google will show a capture and that's why the software asked me to complete that uh, security checkup. It's almost done. You will see when you use the software that at the very end it will take a few seconds to complete. Other software do this too. They reach 99% and it takes a bit longer, but not too much. So I see in here that uh, the majority of my links are do follow. These are links. They can be more from more than one from a single domain. These are domains, individual websites which link to my website, 115. And these are um, different servers. So uh, a, a website can have uh, more than, so I, from this amount of links are on these domains. And these domains are put, it on, are, are put on servers which have um, different addresses. So this is why, why this is happening. So how, how did my links evolve? It's generally seen an increase. The domains also increased. Most of the links are from uh, the domains but not the home page, so, so from other pages. Most of the links are that from that row websites. I have some .com links and others. The majority of links are from Romania, but not only. As anchor text, these are um, uh, links which uh, looks look natural. Okay. What what pages I have most links? I can compare myself to other uh, websites in here. And I can check for link intersection to see how they where how, how many links are common with those websites. I am uh, ranked on Alexa as 1,200,000. The thing with Alexa is that it uses it, it uses data from a toolbar which is mostly used by internet marketers and uh, 
technical person. So my website is from, for marketing, search engine optimization, IT stuff. So it's biased. Had I had the kindergarten website, even if it were successful, it would have very few visits from those audiences. So um, uh, this should be looked at uh, with skepticism. If you have an internet online marketing or IT website, uh, you will get better results than similar websites. So you should uh, know about this. Google sees this number of pages from my website, and this is Yahoo and Bing. Yahoo and Bing use the same uh, the same uh, main engine, uh, so um, if you use Yahoo or Bing, it's pretty much the same thing. It's a very slight difference. Difference. This is the number of backlinks from these domains, and these are C blocks. So. A few of these domains share the same C block, so there can be more than one website on a C, on a C block. More than half of my links are do follow. I have some presence on LinkedIn, but Facebook is a bit harder to measure, so uh, I I think I am more popular on Facebook than on LinkedIn, but it's. It's hard for an uh, external entity to measure it correctly, so that's why the data is like this. In here, I, I can see much, much uh, uh, better data. So these, these are pretty much much more accurate. So I have some links from Facebook and from LinkedIn. I don't use Pinterest. I'm surprised of this, but okay. So my traffic is from Google. Some website, some visitors use it directly. Type www.olivian.ro, but even those people, uh, some of them are from organic search, so it's a bit mixed. These are links from social media and links from other websites. How did the links evolve? This uh, this is a map of my links, mostly as you see in Romania and the United States. And Cortex, we looked through this already. Backlink details. Okay, we've been through this. Okay, this is my. Uh, okay, you can look at these things. You can enter your customer name. So if you want to make a report for a customer, it will, you can personalize it. Um, Google considers that some links, links shouldn't be there. For example, links from web directories, links from forums, from blogs. Um, but uh, I, what I mean with this is that if you go on a forum and comment, and you do this with a lot of forums, so if you and if you go on blogs and you comment and do this with a lot of uh, blogs, so or if you add your websites to web directories, it, it will look like an unnatural link profile. So you can disavow the links to Google. You can go to google.com slash webmaster slash tools or something like that. Just Google Google Webmaster Tools and you'll get the right URL. You go in there and you tell Google, look, I don't want you to consider these links. And Google will agree with this, but the links will still appear in this software. So in with this option, you can disavow those. You can mention the links which you have disavowed on Google, so they will not show up in your reports. Okay. What should matter? Domain age, IP, contact information. The contact information are somehow sometimes hidden, so you, you can have links from websites, but you cannot see the contact information of that domain, so it's not 100% accurate. These are your own settings, name, email, website. You can connect your uh, Dropbox account, and this way uh, you, you will save the data in there. I should have select this. 
Otherwise, you, you remember when I uh, searched it initially, a uh, capture appeared. This would have avoided it. Okay, this is my review. Thanks. I like the software. I think it's a good software um, as a conclusion. Um, it tells me quite a few details about my domain. Uh, when you use uh, SEO tools, you should consider using more at the same time. So try some li some analysis also from moz.com, ahrefs.com, majestic.com. And you can compare the results they give you for the, the links because uh, you can't replicate perfectly what's, what Google has uh, in their indexes. But if you use more than one software, you will get more accurate result. So I recommend you also use SEO Spyglass. It's a good software. Cheers.